Good morning. It's me, Tom the Mormon, the compassionate, free thinking Christian anarchist, transhumanist, libertarian, vegan, Jane almost, Mormon. Anyway, the love of all life and the blockchain. Watching the blockchain go up and down again, and here we are again in the dark as I start for work fixing beautiful Highway 11, the longest road in Canada. In a beautiful Muskoka morning, it's a little bit nippy. The leaves are falling off the trees, and it's autumn. And I am just loving it. What a wonderful day. Um, yeah, the blockchain has been rather interesting. We have Ethereum hard fork coming up in a couple of hours. So it should be interesting to see. Ethereum, Ethereum should rock it up to about $400 a share. That's my prediction, but I don't know. It's uh, Right now, Ethereum for, for one token is uh, 300 and 38 or 40 something so 335 I think right now and uh, it's going to go higher and it's going to be more exciting as time goes on so we shall see what happens um, it's another beautiful Monday morning I've had a nice weekend of rest and relaxation and uh, church and the things I like to do and Studying the blockchain up close and uh, personal. Uh, that uh, is what I've been doing lately. And I've enjoyed it rather immensely. So, uh, once again, it's a beautiful day today and uh, a little tired, but, um, you know, I had a nice weekend. So, I hope you had a nice weekend. I hope you're thinking about the good things in life and not being uh, dragged down by the local. Uh, uh, news affiliates, which broadcast nothing but disaster and and fear and wars and rumors of wars and and phobia and nasty, 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 nasty. Uh, you don't have to uh, get into all that. I'd avoid it if I were you. If it's that important, you will hear about it. Go about your business, doing the things that you love to do, doing the things that are optimistic and positive especially helping somebody else. The best way to get out of your own phobias and fears and hang-ups and anxieties is to help somebody, anybody, do something. Just ask anybody who's done it. Ask yourself after you've done it. How do you feel after you've helped somebody? Don't you feel great? Of course you do. Don't you feel better than you were, than, than you would have if you did not help that person? I mean, it gets addictive. I mean, don't overextend yourself. Make sure you, you know, you make your bed and make your, pay your bills and do all the things you have to do. But consecrate at least 10% of your, your efforts, your finances, and your time to helping some other people. Because that 10% is a wonderful investment in your overall health and well-being and your happiness. That's what the plan of happiness is all about. It's the Lord's plan of salvation, plan of redemption. Because we all make mistakes. We all need to be redeemed for something. We've all sinned, somehow. This is our chance to feel good and not dwell in guilt and cancer and horrible blah, stuff that, in fear, basically. You don't want to be in fear. You just want to be of good cheer. You want to be happy. You want to dwell in happiness. So, something to think about. Have yourself a great day. I'm Tom the Mormon. I love you wherever you are in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.